This is part two. We have now assembled and sewn all the panels and all the patches. We'll now concentrate on the edge of the sail and apply the tapes and the hems. So here's a patch assembly and this patch assembly is along the leech edge and this is the leech so we're actually going to hem this. This is a double hem. The instructions call for a double hem and you'll see that Jeff actually just takes that raw edge of fabric and places it on top of that uh, hem line and then he uses scissors to uh, score the material. This works exceptionally well. We highly recommend doing what Jeff's doing here. Using a scissors scores it very, very well and it uh, almost can be sewn down without basting tape. However, we're going to recommend basting tape. So as you can see in the video, all we're doing is just taking that raw edge and matching it up to that hem line that the plotter plotted on the fabric. Then we're going to take double-sided tape and place it directly on top of that, uh, uh, that uh, rolled over edge that we just did earlier. When that's done, all we're going to do is just baste that to the sail. Uh, when that's basted to the sail, we take it over to the sewing machine and we sew it. Here it is just applying the double-sided tape. We only do one row of double-sided tape. We don't actually have an another piece of double-sided tape on the inside. It's just on this outside strip here. Then we roll it over itself and it's ready to be taken to the sewing machine and sewing. Now we didn't show sewing this uh, this actual hem, this double hem here, but this is what it would look like when it's done so being sewn with a zigzag stitch. Believe it or not, yeah, we're almost done. We've got most of those panels sewn down together. Down we're going to go to this uh, leech edge where we did the double hem and we're going to cut it so that it's flush with that patch assembly. We'll do that at this end and also at the other end. This sail kit calls for Dacron tape to be installed along the head and the foot. This is a pre-folded Dacron tape and we're applying double-sided tape down both of its edges for those applications. We'll take that sail to the floor now that it's pretty big and we'll scroll it just as we did earlier. Apply that double-sided tape to hold that scroll in place and then we'll take it over to our table again and apply that uh, pre-folded Dacron tape to the head and also to the foot of the sail. Here we are peeling the paper backing off the double-sided tape and applying the uh, Dacron tape to that edge of the sail. All you need to do is just uh, feed that e raw edge of the sail into that uh, fold of this Dacron tape and adhere it down with the double-sided tape. That's all there is to it. And uh, we'll be doing that same thing here. We'll trim it to sides, then take off that paper backing, and then fold it over the edge of that sail. Quite easy. Here's a close-up of what we're doing. This is the foot edge, as you can see by that label there. Once that's done, everything stays in place. Just take it over to the sewing machine and sew a zigzag right along that raw edge of fabric. You don't want to sew on, over the raw edge, just right next to it with a zigzag. And here Jeff did do a bar tack at the beginning and he'll do a bar tack at the end to lock that stitch in place. Again everything scrolled nicely and sticks together well because of that double sided tape. Nothing moves. Here's the other end of it and you'll notice he does a reverse here or what we call a bar tack to lock everything in place. And that's all there is to it. We'll not be showing putting on the tape on the other end, but uh, take it to the floor and scroll it up and do that same procedure again for that. Oh, by the way, make sure you cut off anything that doesn't match up before you apply the next tape. Now here's the tape for the luff edge of the sail. The luff edge calls for a 4 inch tape. This tape has not been pre-folded, so we're going to show you exactly how you would take a tape that's not been pre-folded and, and actually put a good score in it. He takes an all pokes it in the table then takes those trusty scissors out like we showed you earlier and just puts a nice sharp crease in the middle of this four inch tape. Now that that uh, tape has been folded we'll take it over to the floor and again scroll up the sail so that we can work with it easily. Just as we done earlier. Don't forget to apply your double sided tape down both edges of this uh, four inch uh, luff tape it makes the job a lot easier. <laughs> if you want it to come out perfect, this is the way to do it. We'll apply the double-sided tape to this side and we'll also apply it to the other side. 
Then we'll take it over to the sales luff and we'll match up that raw edge to that fold that we'd made earlier and baste it in place. Cut off the excess. Leave a little bit of a trailer there. That makes it easier for sewing actually. Oh, don't forget to take off these labels if there are any in the way. You don't want to sew those underneath any tapes or hems or even, even any patches. Baste it together and then we'll take it over to the sewing machine and we'll sew it. Do a bar tack here. With the material scrolled up, it's nice and easy. There we are doing a bar tack at the end. And this one is pretty much done. We're going to trim all the raw edges of fabric that were left hanging. Nice and neat here. And your sail is almost done. Next step, install grommets. It's a good idea to take a grommet and actually mark the position of each grommet. That way you don't make any mistakes. If you make a mistake, you're dead in the water. You don't want that. We'll actually take this uh, yardstick and we'll measure up to determine exactly where each one of these grommets goes along the luff. In this situation, you will find those measurements exactly uh, given to you in the instructions. So you need to refer to the instructions to determine the spacing of these grommets. And then again, we'll pre-mark those positions with a pencil. Okay, once those have been done, then we'll take it over and we'll use our hole punch, and we're using a rubber pad on the bottom side, and a mallet, and we'll punch some holes in that fabric. Now we did punch this twice. You'll notice that when you put spur grommets in your sail, if that's what it calls for, that those spur grommets fit very tight. And in the corner assemblies where the patches are, sometimes it's necessary to actually uh, put a hole in the center and then actually offset the tool a little bit and put one more hole in it uh, to get it to, uh, the, the male portion of the spur grommet to go through. This grommet requires a little bit more pounding to get those teeth to sink into the fabric there, so that's what Jeff is doing now. Now that grommet is installed just like it needs to be, nice and tight and flat against both surfaces. Along the luff of the sail it requires a smaller spur grommet, so we're just going to go down there. Since we've already have those uh, grommet positions marked on the sail, all we need to do is just follow them all the way down the luff. Now we'll take our number two spur grommet, I believe that's what this sail calls for, and we'll put that uh, female portion of the spur grommet on the top, and then uh, place the tool on top and give it a few blows to the hammer, and then we'll move on and do that all along the lock. This sail is almost done. There's not much left to do now. Pretty easy. That's why Sailrite sells so many sail kits. They're not as hard as they look. And that's why we wanted to do this video to show you exactly what it entails. There we are putting a no, uh, number two spur grommet in again along the luff, just like we did earlier. This one needs a little bit more. To sink those teeth in and then move on to the next. Now the only thing left to do now is to uh, take a hot knife and round those corners. Makes it a little bit nicer here. If you don't have a hot knife in lieu of this, you can use a wood burning tool or something like that. There we are. Now, your sale's almost done. Do this to all four corners. Oh, don't forget to put the Say Right logo on. This logo says to the world, I did it myself. And you should be quite proud of the sale because it really does look good when you're done. If you've spent the time and the effort to make sure that those stitches go on straight, then you're going to have a beautiful, professionally made sale that you DIY did it yourself. So there are the logos in place. Those are provided in the kit as well. Oh, don't forget to take off the stickers if there are any left. No need to keep those on. Here's what it looks like when it's done. We have not put this up on the boat, but we're just holding it up here in this little small space that we're working. That's all there is to building a Sailrite sail kit. I'm Eric Grant, and for all of us here at Sailrite, thanks for watching.